20 years ago, my family made the decision to recycle along with the rest of America. Yep, sort through our garbage. Now, 20 years later, 80% of the American households recycle. They choose to take this responsibility for the environment and to be proactive. For centuries, people air dried their laundry. In 1930, the dryer was introduced. Now 92% of the American households have dryers. Now, I'm not suggesting that we all go down to Bogart Park and start washing our laundry in the river. But what is shocking to me is that 90% of the world air dries their laundry. We are one of the most developed countries in the world, and we use the most energy to dry our clothes. This is Spain, Scotland, and Italy. Now... The next slide is green living. When I chose to do this talk, I was blown away at how many beautiful photos people had online that they had taken of clotheslines from all over the world. It's actually something you should take the time to look at sometime. It's rather entertaining. But one of these wonderful devices can save you roughly $150 a year on your utility costs cut 2,400 pounds of CO2 from your yearly carbon footprint and is, left, and is definitely less destructive to your garments. The, the average American household does five loads of laundry a week. Five, okay. If you wash in cold water and you air dry three loads, you would save 10 to $15 a month on your utilities. That's um, a movie date six-pack of beer, a manicure. I don't know. You decide what you want to do with that money. This is a Chinese apartment building. I have to say there's something really beautiful about this slide. Look how much energy these people are saving. <laughs> but if 90% of the Chinese population, which is 1,003,720,000 people, decided to use dryers, the coal trains that run through Bozeman would be running 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year, just to dry clothes. Now, we all live at many neighborhoods and homeowners associations in America banned clothes drying systems. This is the most ridiculous law in the whole world. But as you can see, these people are making a statement with some very good choices of words. But really, I don't understand. What is the problem? Clotheslines really do look lovely. And, <laughs> and it is stating that you're saving energy. But since the 18th century, you can barely see women's underwear. I mean, what's the deal? OK. But let's get back to the dryer. I want to know, when did the dryer turn out to be the size of an American, a small car? This dryer is seven cubic feet. This car is 7.8 cubic feet. The dryer uses 3.3 kilowatts to dry one load of laundry. This car will go 15 miles on that same energy. That's from here to Bridger. OK. so. The next time you're doing a load of laundry, I want you to count how many items you're washing. The average is 20, 20 items. 20 items would fit on a rack or a clothesline, 22 linear feet. That's from me to my prop. OK, so that's, not, that's a pretty short line. But let's talk about the benefits. <laughs> Besides saving energy, it gets you outside. Your clothes smell great, it whitens your whites, adds humidity indoors, and it's one small step towards making a difference in the world. That is not my husband. <laughs> now, I don't want you to think that we're going to be seeing polar bears in swimsuits, but you all know that global warming and air drying is one of the simplest things that we can do to prevent global warming. Did I get that right? I've kind of stumbled on words there. But I know you're having a hard time accepting the fact that there's global warming in the last two days. <laughs> oh, there was a mistake there. Okay, hold on a second. Well, as you can see, I know quite a bit about laundry. Six years ago, I decided to design a laundry rack that would make drying easier for me 
and for everyone. I wanted it to be affordable, adjustable, on pulleys that, you could ha that could handle an entire load of wet car hearts and the small items. You could use it indoors or, and out. I have to say there was a little mistake here, so I'm gonna... Okay, so here we are in Australia. In Australia, in the land of lovely weather, I just want you to know that the power company, the power company, sells hill hoists. Nearly every home has one in the yard. You're not allowed to waste energy on laundry. Okay, now I don't live in a mansion, just a three-bedroom home, 2,800 square feet. My monthly utility bill averages $40 to $70 a month. We don't walk around with headlamps on and burn candles. We just don't use our dryer. But you can see the months when my daughters come home. <laughs> okay, so if 20 years ago, we all decided to pick through our garbage and recycle for the environment, we can take 10 minutes out of our day and hang our laundry and put the breeze to work. Just take it one load at a time. <laughs>